Cheeky Richo's Curry Chicken. Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Chicken Curry. We're going to make a nice curry which isn't too hot with some sweet potatoes. We'll just peel those, cut them into chunks and then wash the excess starch off them to stop them from oxidising. We've got some coconut sugar here. Uh, you could use palm sugar if you like, but I just got this at the local supermarket the other day and I thought I'd give it a try. We've got our chicken pieces. We've cut as much of the visible fat off the chicken pieces as we can. And we're actually using thigh pieces because I happen to like that. And that's how much waste you have from the chicken. You don't need to be eating that, so just remove it. It doesn't take too long. And we've got some fresh ginger. I've, just, I've showed you how to peel this before, but just get a teaspoon and just peel it like so. It's a lot easier. You get a lot less waste. And it's very, very quick to do. And you don't cut yourself, because you can't cut yourself with a teaspoon. In seconds. Yeah, it's all done. We're just going to slice our ginger, pop it in with our garlic, because it'll be going in at the same time. Don't get too serious with this. We want to have some nice little pieces. It's nice to have a little sort of bite of ginger when you're eating a spicy dish. It just gives you that little bit of heat. Slide that in with our garlic. And we've got some kaffir lime leaves, which are bottled. I don't have a kaffir lime tree, so I bought the leaves because it's just handy to have in the fridge. Now to our wok over medium heat, we're going to add our oil, our curry paste. We're using a yellow curry paste today. Our sweet potato. That's going to stick and carry on. If you expect that, go with a white bread. And in with our chicken. Move that all around. We want that chicken to start to cook and take on those curry flavours. And we're starting to get a little bit of colour on our chicken now. We're going to send in our onion. It's been sliced. Our garlic and ginger. Our lime leaves, our coconut sugar, and we'll adjust the seasoning as it gets closer to serving time. Our salt and pepper. Okay, that looks pretty happy now. We're going to send in our coconut milk. Whole can of that, and I'm actually going to rinse that can out with some water to get the residue out. Now just give that a stir around and we can have a little gentle simmer until the chicken is cooked and the sweet potato is tender. Mm, that is smelling pretty good. Okay, now just turn this back once it's come to a gentle boil and we're going to just cook this until it's well and truly softened and the chicken is well done. The sauce will also reduce down. If it reduces down too much, just to add a little water to it just to keep it going. Now if you find it wants to stick and it's getting a little thick before your sweet potato or your kumara has cooked, you just add a little more water just to loosen it up. It will evaporate back out again before the cooking process is finished and that way you'll make sure it doesn't stick or get too gluggy. Just keep that going in a gentle simmer until it's cooked. Okay, our sauce is nice and thick now. Our sweet potato is well and truly cooked. We're just going to toss in our spring onions and our little chilies. So in they go, they're out of our garden. Give that a flick around. And we're going to serve this with some steamed basmati rice and some pepperdums. Now the pepperdums are being cooked in the microwave, would you believe? There's a lot less fat involved in that procedure. And they're ready in about 45 seconds. Ready to serve. I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration of Cheeky Richo's chicken curry. If you would like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Cheeky Richo channel. There's our pepperdums all pumped up. Just pop those into a serving platter, okay. 45 to 60 seconds, that's all you need. And now we're just going to serve our steamed rice, which is really quite hot, with some of our lovely rich curry chicken. A couple of little wedges of lime. I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration of Cheeky Richo's curry chicken. Have a little taste, shall we? Don't forget mm. to please subscribe. It's succulent, sweet, and just the right amount of spice. Thanks for watching.